Okay, so the graph of f prime is shown here uh, from the interval negative 2 to 5, and the question is on what intervals is f increasing? So when f is increasing, f prime will be positive. So it's all the, it's the interval from here to here. So the answer is from negative 2 to 3. Okay, so this is the graph of F, and it asks if these three things exist. Uh, the limit as X approaches 2 from the negative side. Remember to talk really loud because they can turn the volume <laughs> down, but they can't turn it up past the same okay, point. So and even the limit louder than that <laughs> as x approaches 2 from the positive side awesome and the limit as x approaches 2 so from the negative side we can see that it's increasing until this point here and uh, so the limit would be a so that one exists and then from the positive side it approaches this point B, so that exists too, but since uh, as it approaches 2, it has to approach the same number from the positive and the negative side, so since those are not the same, then this does not exist, so it is just these two. Okay, so the function f is defined. Okay, so we have a derivative function, which is sine of x to the third minus x for the interval 0 to 2 and it says on what intervals is f increasing so to find where f is increasing you would look at the derivative and see where it is positive so on the graph uh, this area from here to here the derivative is positive so we calculate the 0 and it's about 1. So then we calculate the other 0. And that's over here. Okay, so we have a sum from negative 5 to 2 of f of x is negative 17, and then the sum from 2 to 5 of f of x. is negative 4. And then it asks what is the sum from negative 5 to 5 of f of x. Um, okay. So what we do is we add, because it's from negative 5 to 2, we add this value. And since this one is from 2 to 5, which is going backwards, it's the opposite of this value. So we add negative 17 and then plus 4. And so the answer is negative 13. Okay, so we have a derivative function, which is f of f prime of x equals x squared cosine of x squared and it asks how many points of inflection does the graph of f have on the open interval is negative 
two to two. So, so we'll plug in our function x squared cosine of x squared. Okay, so this is the graph of f prime, and there are one, two, three, four, five maximums or minimums, so there are five points of inflection. This has been Noah Whiteley Allen. Are you going to say from Mr. Leapforth's class, 2012 or something like that? You should put the date down. Do you have any words?